Hey guys, Troy with Mountain Man Treasure, and I've got a box to open. So, here's what's going on. Uh, I took a shot, I mean, odds are that I just bought a bunch of cool stuff to look at. For, you know what, it, it was worth a gamble. Uh, I enjoy sports, I enjoy memorabilia, and that sort of thing, and this was from a company that's running a sale online. It was from World of Sports Cards. They were doing a bit of a, uh, a closeout sale. These are supposedly, I mean, I, it's on the internet, it's got to be true, right? Um, these came from uh, a barn. Basically, it sounds like they went and they bought a barn full of sports stuff. Um, this is a box full of random stuff from that sale or from that uh, from that purchase so what's in here i don't know we're gonna find out okay so here we go i just split open the box haven't looked at it yet and uh hey how about that king griffey jr right off the bat that's not bad now the thing is i can show you what these are i'm gonna have to look later at what the actual value is because i'm not gonna know but that pack has ken griffey jr on there that an older card too on the back. Who do we got? J. Nah, that one's not as exciting. But an old Fleer card, King Griffey Jr. Okay, so this one we're not opening this one because this one's still sealed. So um, I'm gonna check at least uh, to see. Here's Bobby Bonilla. Um, these uh, tops cards from. Let's see. Yeah, so we're looking at '92. Is when these are from I don't know that there's anything that's I mean everything was pretty mass-produced we'll see if this is worth anything as it is and if it's not uh, I'll open up that one later and we'll flip through see if we can't find any potential winners in there this one wasn't in uh, original packaging this just one that they had at some point they were selling for 1375 um, let's start at the back let's see Ken Griffey jr. this is from yeah so this is from 89 so this is definitely an older card this is pretty cool. We're going to check on that one later. But let's see what else we got in here. I think they're all probably flipped around this way. Um, let's see. Computer. All right. Yeah, these are all from the same run. And that's pretty cool because these are all... Yeah, he had these set as a team set. So that might actually make these... Uh, pretty sellable because now I've got a set already together. As far as value, again, there's Edgar Martinez. Uh, I don't know. Presley. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some okay cards in here. Um, I mean, we don't have any huge names past uh, Ken Griffey, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. We got uh, a team set from uh, from the late 80s. Let's see what else we've got. I wasn't paying attention. Those wa uh, those cards are from 1989. That is, um, and I can touch it because there's actually already a little bit of flaw on here. That is Ken Griffey Jr. And guess what? 1989, Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie year. So this is a uh, this is a rookie card. Um, not super valuable, especially not graded. Um, and there is unfortunately down. I don't know if we can see it on here. Yeah, you can see it. See on that uh, on the Fleer corner. There's a little bit of a crease down there. At some point, this edge caught on something, which uh, which is a shame because otherwise, the card is uh, near mint. Past that one error, even graded, that particular card isn't probably super valuable. But it's a King Griffey Jr. card. That's pretty cool. Hey, how about that? I'm filming and... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I just sold a Christmas ornament for uh, for a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm a little bit, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that happened. I got that at an estate sale um, for in a pile of stuff. We got a whole bunch of stuff. I think I paid like twenty dollars for everything. Um, <laughs> I just sold a Christmas ornament. For, I can't even talk. I just sold a Christmas ornament for a hundred and twelve dollars. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how to refocus. I found a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, and then I sold a hundred and twelve dollar Christmas ornament. Um, okay, let's uh, 
Let's get back to the box. Sorry guys, we're getting back to the box. Okay, we're gonna keep going through the box here. Let's find out what we've got. Um, okay. James Spence Authentication LLC. So we've got a, uh, we've got authenticity here. The autograph piece which accompanies this certificate was signed in the presence of a representative, so it's authentic. We just have to figure out who it is. Good. Oh, is this Twink? Hold on a second. Let's take it out of here. Yep, I had to move the uh, I had to move this out of the way just to be sure. But that is a Gooden number eleven. And if you look here, Doc Gooden. Uh, Gooden played for uh, for the Yankees in uh, 96, 97, wearing number 11. I'm not uh, taking this out of here just yet, but that's who this is. This is uh, this is Dwight Gooden uh, signature on uh, on a jersey, it looks like, which is pretty cool. He uh, Doc's been in the news lately for uh, getting arrested, which is not great. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, actually, when he was with the Yankees, uh, he threw. A no hitter during uh, during one of those years. I think '96 he threw a no hitter against Seattle. I'd have to double check, but uh, yeah, so pretty cool. We got an autograph piece from Dwight Gooden with a uh, with authentication. Cool. What else we got? We got some gloves um, or a a glove, and you know what? There's a uh, there's authentication in there again. Everlast. Uh. Okay, guys, I looked it up. I wanted to be sure. I, I saw Irish on there. Wasn't sure. It is. It's uh, Irish Mickey Ward. Uh, if you've seen the movie uh, The Fighter, Mark Wahlberg, that, uh, that's the early part of his career. That's this guy. I don't know how valuable this is, but super cool piece. All right, we're diving back in. Uh, actually, it looks like we're getting a little light here. Let's see what else we got. These, that's unfortunate. Warped a little bit. But, hey, there's a Ricky Anderson Love me some Ricky Henderson. Quaker Chewy Granola Bars. That's an old Topps card. That's 80s. Very cool. So you had to you had to sign, you had to send this thing off, I guess. Um, we'll look into that. Yep, look at that. 86. Very cool. Or offer expires 86. So yeah, it was probably earlier in the year 86. So we'll look those up. Uh, who we got? Okay, Tom Glavin. Another uh, another tops card. I don't know that that one's honestly much of anything, but Darius Garland. Okay, well, eh, that's all right. I'm liking the good and I'm liking the autographs. That one's eh. So we got the good stuff up front. This is pretty cool. Old Phillies uh, card. This is from the 70s. Yeah. 75. So an old 75 card. That one's pretty cool, actually. Wayne Twitchell. And one more card here. Uh, Tanaka. Well, that's pretty cool. We got the two Japanese uh, stars there. Kikuchi and Tanaka, so that's cool. But this is this is new. I think this is twenty yeah twenty nineteen. So I don't know what the value on that is. We'll see. Um, Archie comics aren't fantastic. I would have been much happier with another comic. That's gonna go in a junk drawer a lot at some point. Um, this is pretty cool. I don't know what the value is, but it'll be cool to actually just read. Uh, I've never heard of this one. But it's pretty cool. Trag and the Sky Gods. That's awesome. And, oh, here we go. Time for love. <laughs> what is this one? I don't know this one either. Um, okay, so we got a couple of older. I mean, it's a 20 cent comic, certainly older. Um, yeah, I'll check this one out. I'm going to guess this one isn't uh, great in the value. I mean, it's certainly, certainly worn. So, uh... Yeah, not great, but it's kind of cool to look at. Um, I don't know. I think we did okay. I mean, I don't. We didn't get any huge winners, but this is fun looking through, and uh, we'll see. I mean, we might hold on to these actually for a while and just display them. But at some point, we'll check the value 
and uh, and see if they're worth flipping around. So pretty cool. So if you want to uh, if you want to check those guys out, uh, I don't know if the the sale is still going on, but uh, yeah, World of Sports Cards. They're based in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, took a little long longer to get this than I wanted, but not bad. Pretty cool, right? Um, it's always fun to get a box and not know what's inside of it. And uh, I don't know if we got our money's worth, but we got our entertainment worth out of it anyway. There's some cool pieces that I'm going to enjoy, even if they're not worth a lot reselling. I think they're worth it just for me as a uh, as a general sports fan to have. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know uh, reselling value-wise what was here for you guys, but uh, it was fun to go through this. And... We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.